So here we have our gandule plant. Gandule is also known as uh, Congo pea, also known as pigeon pea. It's a very beautiful um, legume native to India and Africa that's now spread throughout the Caribbean, tropical regions throughout the world. Very drought tolerant, will produce a very large um, taproot that can access a lot more water and doesn't need a lot of um, any rain or anything, can do really well in direct sun. These varieties, this specific one actually has been cultivated here in Charlotte, North Carolina um, by a gentleman from India who uses it for um, some home cooking. And so it is very prominent in a lot of African cooking, Indian cooking, um, Caribbean cooking as well. In Puerto Rico, we have arroz con gandules, which is rice with gandules. The unripe pods can be um, opened up and then those seeds can also be used and cooked lightly, just like a pea would be. Uh, they're very dense in a lot of vitamins and minerals, a lot of protein, as many legumes would be, very easily digestible. And traditionally, there are some um, uses for the leaves and the foliage and the flowers being used in tea for respiratory issues. Um, I've heard of the, the leaves being used as an external poultice for wounds and cuts to help with that as well. Even though the name pigeon pea may be alluding to the concept that maybe it is a smaller plant, like a, like a southern pea or like a pea that may vine up, uh, in tropical regions where this can grow as a perennial, pigeon peas can get up to eight or nine feet tall. Here in one year in a uh, temperate season here in Charlotte, North Carolina, these were about five to six feet tall last year. So they get very big. They're using a lot of commercial cropping um, in the tropics, usually kind of as trellises for different things, or they can get very tall and shade out the ground underneath them. So they could definitely be used to um, trellis certain crops on. They'll become very woody in a year, kind of how in this region, Moringa can get very woody, and they'll be very, very established within the garden within a couple months of planting. So a very good multi-purpose plant um, in the Fabaceae family, producing some very nutritious seeds that can be stored for the winter and prepared with a lot of very culturally significant meals as well.